Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited today because uh, I've been looking forward to reviewing these decks for you. These are decks by Jamie Sawyer. She is a tattoo artist who lives in Pennsylvania and she has uh, a shop on Etsy. I believe it's Jamie Sawyer 336 where you can buy her um, her decks and other she has a lot of other interesting uh, esoteric material for sale on her Etsy site. Anyway, I've received the Lenormand Sawyer's Lenormand deck first. And then after I saw it, I really really wanted to get her tarot deck as well. So we have Sawyer's Path, a tarot journey. I have not opened it yet because I wanted to open it with you guys. So first, why don't we just go through the Sawyer's Lenormand first because Lenormand decks are a little smaller and quicker to go through. So here's the uh, back of the box. Take a ride through the Grand Tableau of Lenormand with the colorful vision of tattoo artist Jamie Sawyer. Herein you will find her interpretation of the classic imagery. Yeah, that's correct. It's Jamie Sawyer. 336 is her Etsy shop. And she produced this uh, deck in 2018. Now, I believe I have her business card in here. Stroll along Sawyer's Path, a tarot journey, Sawyer's Lenormand, sacredspacetattoo.com. Etsy shop is Jammer Designs. Okay, so that answers that question. And her email's here. And there's a downloadable guidebook also. I don't know that I have that available to, to show you today. And this is on the back of her business card, a representation, I would presume, the Empress, number three. So that gives you an idea of how beautiful her artwork is. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Okay, so we'll just go through the Lenormand deck real quickly here. Here is Rider, Clover. So it's very important in uh, reading Lenormand that you concentrate or you can, or that you can immediately uh, get the meaning of the card quickly. The ship. You don't need to be distracted by a lot of extraneous details. House. Tree. Oh, I love that tree. Longevity and health and vitality. I love it. Here are clouds and we've got the dark side and the light side. Snake. Coffin. bouquet. So see, if you want to get a cool tattoo, you can just take this card with you to your tattoo shop and say, give me this. Here is scythe. So we've got the scythe cutting the wheat. The scythe represents uh, cutting, a sudden um, cut of a bond. Here we have whip. I like to see whip and broom in the same card. I'm kind of weird that way, but that's that's very nice. The whip, birds, gossip or idle chatter, child. Now instead of a child, we see the child's cup and blocks. So I think that works. It's pretty cute. There's the fox. Oh, the bear is a panda bear. Isn't that precious? stars and I believe that is the image no I think it's the image uh, similar to on the tarot that she's got only this is the Lenormand deck interesting I'll be interested to see if this exact image is also in the tarot deck but there is stars stork moving on starting a new home Dog, faithfulness, fidelity. Look at that sweet basset hand. The tower, which is a little different from tarot tower. This tower means uh, more institutions, the bank, 
um, your church, that kind of a thing. It doesn't mean uh, a sudden lightning bolt striking and destroying. The garden, a gathering, a party, a wedding, family fun. That's a beautiful garden card. I love it. Mountain. So there's some sort of an obstacle ahead of you. The crossroad. Mice. Cute mice. They kind of nibble away at the surrounding cards and reduce their effect. The heart. Ring. Well, that's a cool ring. Look at those amethyst crystals. Book. Letter. Oh, I like that she's got this sort of a henna tattoo there. The gentleman. And the lady. Lily. Sun, moon. Moon has a little different meaning in Lenormand also. It means uh, acclaim or being famous, that sort of a meaning, rather than um, illusion or dreams as it does in tarot. Here's key. So the key to your question or the answer to your problem. Fish, representing prosperity. Anchor. That's a beautiful anchor. Wow, really pretty. It's got enough of the actual anchor itself that you don't lose the meaning, but it's very decorative. The cross. So that is the Sawyer's Lenormand, 36 cards. And let's move along to the tarot deck. Dokey. All right. Well, I'm excited to be able to finally open this up. I've had it probably for a month or two, but I just haven't gotten to it. I was so busy with the holidays and everything. Okay, so here we have the beautiful tuck box. I love this teal color. This image with the crystals. want to ruin my flip top lid there. This is the problem with the flip top boxes. If only these uh, all the decks came with hardcover boxes. Flip top just seems so flimsy to me. Well I got it. I kind of ruined the edge but I got it open. No more flip top boxes, please, creators. Okay. So we've got the cards out of the box. And let's take a look. Here is our beautiful fool. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The magician. All the tools. The lemniscate. The lilies and the roses, beautiful. High Priestess, holding her Torah. Love her. Gosh, that's beautiful. The water is her skirt. That's gorgeous. There's the Empress that we saw in the business card. I love all the nature images here, the mouse and the deer and the fruits of the earth. She's got the symbol of Venus here on her waist. She's got the moon phases for a necklace, the stars for a crown. Beautiful. Okay, here we have the emperor. Now you can see these cards are numbered, but they're not labeled, so you do kind of have to know your uh, sequence of cards and the titles of the cards. But there's a very nice emperor, very traditional. 
It's got the rams at the four corners. It's got the staff here. The castle behind him. I like that he's out in nature. He makes a good uh, compliment. Sometimes in decks, the empress and the emperor don't really seem complimentary as if they match. Like the empress will be kind of wild out in nature and the emperor will be very formal and a formal ruler. And these two, they sort of really do match. I like them. Okay, next we have the Hierophant. Very nice. The Lovers. Pretty. Oh gosh, this chariot is beautiful. Love the motion. Got the hair flowing in the wind. And even the, uh, they have lions rather than horses or um, sphinxes. And they've got that sense of motion because their manes are kind of flying in the breeze and their paws are moving forward. That's a great chariot. I love it. Got the triple moon here. Extremely cool. All right, here we have Strength. Very nice card. She's got the flowers in her hair, the Lemniscate. Taming that beast. Here's a really nice Hermit. Look how sweet that is. It's got a Star of David here for a lamp. Oops. Next we have the Wheel of Fortune. So we've got the four books here for the four evangelists of the Bible. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Usually you'll see like a bull and a bird and a human to represent the evangelists, but here we have the books. Oh, oh, we do see. There's a bird on the book. The lion, the bull, and the uh, human figure. And we've got phases of the moon, we've got a pentacle, we've got astrological symbols, we've got elemental symbols, air, fire, water, and earth, and they're color coordinated too. Wow, this is a really great, great Wheel of Fortune. I love it. Very nice. Here we have Justice. The scales are there. She's holding a sword. There's a bird, a couple of birds in the background. That's a great justice card. The Hanged Man. Very nice. I'm going to flip him around so we can get a better look at his face. Very serene. So you're in a holding pattern, but it's not too bad. It's not a pre-death image. Oh, and here's death. <laughs> the death card. The skull, the rose. Sailing into the sunset. Here is our temperance card. Very nice. I like the cauldron in this... Uh, in this image, and I also like that there's a uh, elemental fire sign there. Very cool. A very masculine looking angel for the temperance card. Next we have the devil. Hmm. Instead of the actual people, we've just got symbols, male and female. Here is the tower. Very traditional Rider Waite looking tower. I like the addition of the uh, ocean. The star. Wow, beautiful. That's a beautiful star. Look at that. Look at the colors. We've got the eight stars above, the bird. She's pouring water onto the land as well as into the water. One foot on the land, one foot in the water. Water lilies. Very pretty. 
the moon. We've got the crayfish, the dog and the wolf. Ooh, look at that moon, it's got craters. And I love how the number for the card is kind of incorporated into the image rather than at a standard place either at the top or the bottom of the card. This one has it incorporated into the flag. There's the creepy baby with the sun. He's on a unicorn, that's kind of funny. Sunflowers. So there's the sun. Here we have judgment. Pretty typical. The world. Ooh, I love all the elemental symbols. What I like about how she did these elemental symbols, they're also color-coded. So you can tell. Fire. Um, earth, air, and water. So if you're not really good at just looking at the symbol and knowing what it is, which is sort of my position, this helps you learn. Really pretty. Okay, moving along, we're going to, I'm going to arrange these uh, by suit, as I normally do, so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so here we have the aces, and every one of them is just really beautifully done. The ace of swords. The ace of wands. The Ace of Cups. Look at those lotus flowers. Gosh, that's beautiful. Just gorgeous. And the Ace of Pentacles. Very nice with the garden theme here. Next we see the Twos. So we've got the Two of Swords. This is a very Rider Waite Smith based deck. Two of Swords. Two of Wands. Two of Cups. Oh, this is interesting. We've got the Cups without the human figures in these cards. Normally you see this uh, lion on top of this caduceus kind of up here and the two human figures down here. But this works. And the Two of Pentacles, which I love. I love this card. Very sweet. Okay, now we will move on to the threes. The three of hearts, very traditional Rider Waite image. Not my favorite, but it's in keeping with tradition. The three of wands, the three of cups, and the three of pentacles. Okay, we've got a very traditional Rider Waite Four of Swords. Four of Wands with the garland. Very nice. Four of Cups. And Four of Pentacles. So if you're new to learning tarot or you've learned with the Rider Waite Smith system already, this will help to enhance your knowledge of tarot. It's a good deck for a beginner or for a beginning to intermediate reader because it expands on Rider Waite. It's Rider Waite based. Here we have a Five of Swords. Now we've got the people in this Five deck here. Five of Wands. Five of Cups. And Five of Pentacles. The Six of Swords, Six of Wands, oh I love the salamanders included in there, great. Six of Cups, and 
and six of pentacles. Seven of Swords, I love the look on his face, he's very proud of himself. Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Eight of Wands. Gosh, these are so beautiful. The Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, this artist has just really outdone herself. These are beautifully done. Nine of Swords. Colorful, vibrant. Nine of Wands. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, oh, one of my favorite cards. Look at that bird, the grape vine, the grapes on the vine, just beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Jamie Sawyer, you did a great job. Here we have the Ten of Swords, very typical Rider Waite image. Again, not my favorite. Ten of Wands. Ten of Cups, perfect image for that card, and the Ten of Pentacles, really great. Okay, let's move on to the court cards. Here we have the Pages, Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Page of Cups, got the fish in the cup, very good, very good. Oh, look at the art brushes in his uh, brim of his hat. That's beautiful and very cupsy for me because for me, cups represent arts and music. And here we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, moving on to the Knights, Knight of Swords. So even though these cards don't have written on them what they are, it's they're so plainly done that you can obviously tell what they are. There's nothing else this card could be but the Knight of Swords. He's got a sword, he's a knight on a horse. There is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles. So the pentacles and uh, swords have the knight on horseback, whereas the other knights are not. But they've still all got their uh, typical armored helmets. Very pretty. Oh, I love the acorns and the oak leaves. Boy, that's pretty. Alrighty, then we have the queens. Here we have the Queen of Swords. Beautiful. She's that rose with the thorns. Queen of Wands with the sun and the sunflowers. She's even got a kitty cat on her necklace. Kitty cat head. Here we have the uh, Queen of Cups. A siren. <laughs> it's got kind of a mermaid figure here and we've got the ship sinking there as in the siren legends. Oh wow, look at the Queen of Pentacles. She's really beautiful. Love, love, love. Okay, I'm going to get these last four cards here for you. The Kings. King of Swords. I love the acorns and oaks that are incorporated into so many of these cards. That's really pretty. And the King of Wands. We've got the fire, so you know it's a wand, plus the wand here with the crystal. Oh, 
I would have liked to have seen the bird on the King of Swords, but that's just me. He works wherever you put him. Here we have the King of Cups with all the sea elements, seashells, ship, fish, King of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Lovely. Okay, so let's get this deck together here. I'd like to see what kind of... So this is really more the image that uh, came from her Lenormand deck, which is kind of cool, but she carried it over into the tarot here. So the card stock itself is very nice, sort of playing card quality. It's sturdy, yet flexible. And the size of the cards is not so large that it can't go in hand for shuffling. I'm a riffle shuffler, what can I say? The cards are almost too big for my hands, but not quite. Oops, and I think I included her business card in my shuffling there. I see a little bitty card in there someplace. There it is. Popped right out there. Okay, let's give them one more ripple shuffle. Yes, any bigger than this, I wouldn't be able to handle them. And the card backs are reversible, which is nice. Wow, two quarts and a major arcana card. So I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, deck walkthrough and unboxing with me. I really love this deck. It's so pretty. It's so colorful. And I think I'm going to really enjoy working with it. So take care. Have a pleasant evening. And join me again for some more unboxings this week. Please like if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you again next time. Good night.